article. I've been seeing you down my timeline talking about something I've been familiar with for quite some time. And when you started publicly talking about it, I was like, man, somebody get him off of this platform talking <laughs> about the the sauce, <laughs> talking about the sauce, man. But I, I'm, I'm glad you out here making it more publicly known and sharing it with people and helping people start monetizing social media a little bit better. But I want to know more about who you are, what you do, and how you provide value, man. So let the audience know who you are and what you do. Let's get it. I appreciate the introduction. Uh, my name is Tajan Rashar, 22 years old, and I teach people how to build, scale, and grow something called Instagram theme pages. Uh, some people don't know what an Instagram theme page is, but an Instagram theme page is a faceless page that posts specific content for a specific group of people. Um, so think of pages like The Shade Room, Hollywood Unlocked, Spiritual Word, Wealth, Daquan, the list literally goes on. These faceless Instagram pages are literally behind the scenes making millions of dollars off of consumers like us just for consuming their content. Um, and that's ultimately what I do. Hmm. Yeah. Like I said, I, you you exposing, um, I don't even call it exposing, just notifying us of how to also leverage and, and reach out to these pages because a lot of people don't even know that these are just real people behind these pages that can you can reach out to when it's a business. Nah, 100%. That's the, that's the thing about it. Before I got into actually owning these pages, mm -hmm. I was the person using these pages. So I'll mm -hmm. go to like a page like Spiritual Word. Back when they used to charge like $750, I'll go to Spiritual Word, mm -hmm. boom, throw them $750. I'll make back like $3,000 in 24 hours. Rinse and repeat the process. I do smaller. I'll start off with smaller pages, go to bigger pages, pay them $200, make, make back like $2,500 in 24 hours, boom, just like that. I was rinse and repeating, rinse and repeating, rinse and repeating. And I got the spreadsheet on my on my phone actually where I was actually doing it, but it it, it's, it was crazy, man. <laughs> what were you selling? Um, I was selling a thirty dollar mini course, a thirty dollar mini course teaching people how to um, build Shopify stores. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Um, selling the course early because a lot and then doing it faceless. Because were you sending them to your page? Yeah, so the play was, the play was, I was going to these pages saying, hey, how much do you charge for a promo? Going to their page, boom. Um, and then I'll send them a content that I want to be posted on these pages. Mm. And then I'll say in the caption, be like, follow at Tajon if you want to learn um, how to make money with drop shipping. Or mm. I mean, not drop shipping, how to make money building Shopify stores. Um, and then it'll be like, he has a $30 uh, mini course that he's selling right now, mm. seventy five percent off. Hit the link in his bio. It was printing. So, so let me ask you this: So, you're you're kind of young. I know it doesn't feel like it. You probably like, man, yeah. I'm old as hell, man, because <laughs> I remember when I was twenty two, what it felt like. But being so young and getting the success that you've had, tell us about how um, going from you were in high school. Obviously, did you, did you, you didn't go to college or? Uh, yeah, I dropped out during my first semester. Okay, so you dropped out during your first semester, and talk about like. How did you see this loophole? Like, how did you, what brought you to this point? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, that's a good question. So I've always been into entrepreneurship since I was like 15, 16 years old. Okay. Really before that, you know, selling Jolly Ranchers out of my lunchbox in middle school, but okay. um, started a clothing brand when I was like 15 years old. I was making money working at Kroger, and I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Started a clothing brand, took the little money I got from Kroger, um, dumping into this brand that went absolutely nowhere, and I was like, yo, I got to do something else. Something about me is I never quit. So uh, I was spending money on, obviously, the clothes itself, uh, marketing, things like that. And this is when I found out about influencers. Then I was reaching out to influencers like, yo, would you uh, wear my stuff, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. That worked for a little bit, but it really didn't get nowhere. So then this is when I tapped into drop shipping. You probably know what drop shipping is. Mm -hmm. For those who don't, it's basically where you work with a supplier overseas. Uh, they'll ship your stuff for you. All you have to do is market it and sell it. Got into drop shipping. Keep in mind, I'm like 16 years old at this point. Um, and I started spending money on Facebook ads. So I was taking the money I was getting from my job now, spending it on Facebook ads now for my job shipping store. And I'm talking about, I'm in high school, 16 years old, spend a thousand dollars on ads a week. Mm. Um, and I was just running it, running it, running it. First three stores failed. My fourth one finally saw success. I think we made $18,000 in like three weeks. Um, keep in mind by the time I hit like 17 years old, uh, I finally hit like $50,000 in like ad spend or something like that. Uh, well, most people don't know. I'm not going to sit here and say all these numbers like they're a profit. With drop shipping, your profit margins are slim. It is very slim. But to get to my point, how we found theme pages out was I was running these stores. I'm spending all this money, thousands, thousands, thousands on Facebook ads in high school. I'm like, nah, there got to be a better way. So then what I started doing was reaching out to, I found out about Instagram theme pages. I was on like YouTube or something. They're like theme pages. I'm like, what is that? Boom, boom. I realized that you can reach out to these pages pay them like $100, $200 to get posted on a page with five, six, seven hundred thousand followers 
I'm like, yo, this is a, this is a gold mine because mm-hmm. I was realizing like in order for me to reach, let's just say a hundred thousand a hundred thousand people with Facebook ads, mm-hmm. that's minimum costing me ten thousand dollars. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But with these with these steam pages, I was reaching that many people, if not more, for literally a fraction of that. So then that's when I got into the theme page space. I tested it out with one of my drop shipping stores. And when I tested it out, it worked. Like it worked. And I was like, yo, I'm on to something. And then from there, um, I just continued to do it, continue to do it, continue to do it. And that's how that whole loophole came to be and how I really found out about these pages. 